Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kat. Uh, I did try to film one yesterday doing the look that I wanted to do for Halloween. It didn't go so well. Um, sorry also if the lighting's kind of weird. I'm in a little bit of a different setup. Uh, I'm still trying to obviously figure things out. So um, let's just get to it and get on. So today the look that I am going to do is Corella DeVille. I decided to do her for Halloween after a voting session. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is a character that I originally was going to do. Um, Corella DeVille from 101 Dalmatians. This is kind of the look I was going for. <laughs> it was, it was ugly. It was really bad. So that is, um, for the person that did that look, it's Queen of Luna on Instagram. She created this look originally 11-6 of 2015 based off of someone else's rendition of Corella DeVille that was done the day before on 11-5 of 15 um, from Vanity Venom or Emily Clayton on Instagram. So I thought both looks are really good. I just really like the way that um, Queen of Luna did this one, but I tried to redo it, and honestly, that was more scary than Halloween. So now I'm gonna do my own rendition of it. Um, uh, I'm going to leave on most of my makeup and kind of just take some of it off and then get on with the look. So I'm gonna stand off. So what I'm gonna start with is I'm going to take some glue. I don't have a glue stick. I'm just gonna try this again. I'm gonna take some glue and then set it immediately with this finishing powder. Oh, my eyebrows are so long, ew. Uh. But also that's kind of amazing. This is disgusting. Look at that. I look like I got into a fight with a bag of flour. Okay, so it looks like it might be working, so we're just gonna go with it for now. And I'm going to use this and cover it up. Yeah, I think I'm brushing it out too hard and that it really should just be thick. So we're gonna lay it on thick with like two C's make it look like that color there and see if we can continue, I don't know, making it darker, which means I'm gonna have to make all the colors around my face darker. Me thinking I just needed to wipe off my lipstick. Ah, foolish mortal. So I'm gonna finish covering that up, add another layer and um, put the rest of the foundation on my face and you're gonna see me after that. Um, so then I don't have to bore you with putting foundation all over my face. Um, just so then you can see what it looks like when I put foundation on my face right now. Boom, done. I'm fabulous. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to that and try to finish covering this up and then I will come back for the next part of the video. So I got what I think is full coverage. Maybe, I don't know, sorry. I'm bringing my leg up to hang out with me. Um, I don't know if it is. So what I am planning on doing next is obviously I'm gonna fix my makeup, but I'm going to put on more of the finishing powder to kind of just seal everything in. Um, and then there's also, I don't know if this is going to dust up the way I want it to. It is from Hot Topic, what I got it a few years ago. Um, and at least in all the movies, Corella DeVille is very pale. And she's like more pale than I am. So I'm going to kind of just 
pale up my skin a little bit so I don't like it to look like a Cheeto because I'm feeling like a Cheeto. Um, that way maybe it'll hold all of it together but also give me that pale AF look. And then maybe it also will make me look as sweaty because I feel like I look very shiny and shiny to me equals sweat. So hopefully not um, like that. <laughs> we'll see because some of this is questionable. And I'm going to start putting on some of this white face powder. It's got a cute little sugar skull on the front. It's from Hot Topic. It's white face powder. Um, and like I said, I got it from there years ago. Oh my, it's a bad color. When I dusted it, it like turned into a pink color. And I'm wondering if it's because I used the same brush for like multiple things on my face. I mean, probably. Okay. All right. We're, we're becoming ghostly now. Okay, so I put on the white stuff. Um, it did a lot better than I thought it would on making me white. I'm probably gonna have to put more because it's kind of blotchy. Um, but I'm trying not to go over some spots too many times because I really don't want to wreck this look. So I am going to start with the next part. So next what I'm gonna do is the eyes. I'm gonna use this crappy palette that I got from Wish. It's got some green in it um, and it's got some black. I'm gonna use some fat black a little bit. Um, and then I'm also going to use this palette I used last time. It is Wet n Wild Paint Palette. Um, it's called Bright Vibe. Uh, like I said, you can't get this anymore. I've used a few of the colors already. Yesterday I really dug into that green didn't go well. So the plan is is to make kind of like a really ridiculously dramatic spot of eyeshadow and then pretty it up. Almost cartoon like. So I'm gonna shut up and get to <laughs> wow. Just wow. That's all. We're done here. Bye. This is the end. Why do I feel like that woman from, um, what's it called? The Drew Show? But she usually uses like a lot of blue eyeshadow and it's what I'm going yeah. to do. I am going to use this one down here and I'm going to just friggin powder the crap out of it so it's not sticky. Good some. So as you can see, I kind of tried my best to cover that up. Um, to make it kind of, you know, make sense. Um, what I'm planning on doing with this next is adding some eyeliner and some dark eyeshadow out on the side before I decide to do her iconic batty eyebrows um, that she's got going on. So I am going to do that really quick and just, just watch how fast I do my eyeliner. This is something I'm actually very proud of, I guess you'd say. Okay, so next I'm gonna do my eyeliner. I'm gonna use this um, waterproof uh, Sephora brand eyeliner. 
um, when I first got this, I was terrified to use Sephora brand just because That's my eyeliner done for one side, as I told you very fast when it comes to eyeliner. So now after that, I'm going to throw on some Dior Iconic Over Curl. I love this mascara. I've been working so hard to find a good mascara again. I finally found one. And so now I am going to go over, maybe outline the outside just a little with some of this black from the Wish palette and kind of, well, maybe just like this. Give it a little more definition. Very lightly, nothing kind of, nothing too crazy, you know. And I'm not gonna go super far down, just maybe, maybe down pat, just past that. So it kind of like more of a hey, I've got these scary poppin' eyeballs. I'm also going to add some of the black under here. In her picture, she does black eyeliner all around. I learned in seventh grade that black eyeliner all around my eye is a mistake and you should be sent to jail. Obviously, it looks good on her. Me? No. Mm -mm. We're gonna do some touch up. I'm gonna do the whole other side of this eye so when I come back, bow the side. Next, what I'm gonna do is the eyebrows. And now, as you can see in the picture, her eyebrows are like wicked, okay? She's got these huge, like, eyebrows. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Graftobian Raven Black. Um, water activated um, pro paint from their paint section and I am going to spray it down and I'm really scared like I was afraid to do the green but like this this is frightening so I believe that 101 Dalmatians is supposed to be set in the 1920s. And during the 1920s, it was a huge fad to have very thin, perfect eyebrows. So I feel like that's where this is coming from. Like that shape could have been a lot better but you know just like the rest of the makeup it ain't perfect so next what i'm gonna do is i am going to do the cheek contour she uses black i tried black yesterday and i really didn't feel it <laughs> found it i'm gonna use this revlon photography insta sculpt uh, it's called a contouring palette, but I really don't know how to contour, so I don't really know why I spent money on this. But it's got like the blush, and it's got all the like contouring colors. So we're gonna do that and try to like kind of sculpt it in here, but I'm gonna round it instead of go straight line. We'll see how that. Okay, so I'm back. I am going to start contouring the outsides of my cheeks to kind of make them look a little sucked in. I mean, obviously I'm not super good at this, so it's probably not gonna be true. Um, so we're gonna try and get through this real fast. We're gonna do a speed round, see what we can do. So. I'm gonna spray the black paint again because what I'm going to do, I'm not gonna mess with my eyebrows again. I'm so sorry for the hiccups. I'm really trying to conceal them. Is for the nose, I'm gonna give myself a bigger 
nostrils. I'm just gonna... Y'all tell me if you see any boogers, okay? Honestly, if I'm blowing black boogers for the next month, I'll be so mad. Do I look like I have something up in my nose? Uh, I'm gonna finish the other nostril. Maybe fix this contour a little bit and then we're gonna get on some lip. Okay, so I did more contouring. I think I fixed the nose situation. I added a highlight to it and it kind of made it pop a little bit. Okay, so I decided how I'm going to do this is I'm going to use um, the Kiss of Life 111 um, Kate lipstick. I'm gonna do that and then if it's still not red enough, I'm gonna go in with the paint. I'm just gonna start by you know, going ham. I like to start inside of my lips all the way around mine because she is kind of just extreme. Um, she seems like the person that would do an outline on her lips and it wouldn't be enough. I feel like that worked out kind of good. I'm gonna still add some of this red, maybe to like the inner parts of the lip. And honestly, I think it looks really good compared to what happened yesterday this sort of worked out. So I'm gonna clean up. I'm gonna clean up. I'm gonna put on the wig and show you guys. So thank you for riding along with me on this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below and please hit that subscribe button. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy Halloween.